He said the same thing when we bought them. He said, this is my favorite bike. I'm Barb C. Corey C. Do you remember the first time you ever thought about getting something electric? Yes. Tell me about it. Our neighbor over here, and I would encourage you to talk to him. He's the one that got us up down here to Florida. He bugged us for two years to come down here. Kept, you know, sending those annoying beach videos and whatever, you know, oh yeah, you are here, you are. Anyway, it finally worked out where we could come. And to be honest, they said, you need to buy a bike. I said, absolutely not, because I have not ridden a bike since I was like 13. There's no way no. So we get down here and day one we buy bikes. <laughs> I thought I was going to buy a golf cart, but then, you know, I had no concept of what it was like down here. And they laughed at me and, well, she's not going to fit in with us. <laughs> we bought bikes the day after we got here. It's way quicker on the bike. Yeah, it's way quicker. Yeah, I mean, we go to the grocery store, we do everything on them now. We went to Clearwater Beach yesterday and traffic was just completely Yeah, I know, we were just giggling because, you know, we're like, yeah, we'll be there for two hours before you guys even find parking. Yes. So, day one you bought it, <laughs> and you never owned anything electric before? Nope. Nope. What exactly was the moment where you're like, this is happening, I'm buying this bike? We just kind of saw everybody riding and whatnot, and then our friend, Mark, um, really encouraged us that this is what you want to do you know and he'd been down here for several years you know he'd already done a lot of the homework we went to the uh place that he recommended that we go where was that uh cafe racer yeah. and Dunedin. cafe racer yeah. great experience sir um we walked in up the they hooked us up so <laughs> they knew us better than we did at that point did you get an opportunity to go in and see everything that they had yes yeah. Right. Why'd you choose? Why'd you choose this? <laughs> well, the real technical question answer here. It's really intimidating when you walk in. You know, I'm short. I'm five foot one, and you know they're showing us these big bikes, and I'm going, Lord, no. So I think we had said, well, do you have anything, you know, smaller in size, whatever? And he's like, oh, try these. And we had kind of talked a little bit about price point, which. For us, really, at that time, was not a huge factor. Um, we wanted more of a better fit. Showed us these. We took one look and thought, you know, that's at least the right size or lightweight. So we jumped on, took them for a test drive, and came back and bought them. How many of them did you test? One. Just one. <laughs> you got it from Cafe Racer. You, I'm going to say customer service, top notch. Very top notch. Yeah. Yes. Every time, you Every go time we go in there, they've, they've been really great. And I'm going to guess you didn't buy it for the brand name because you didn't know. <laughs> Never no. heard. Okay. <laughs> How much was it? How much were they, I guess? 2000 a piece? Right around 2000 I think. I had looked around online based on what Mark had, you know, suggested. He's a much bigger guy. He's much more experienced. Um, I'm looking at those going, you know, and, and some of the like the one that he has is way more expensive. How long have you owned these things? December. Middle of December. Middle of December, yeah. And his frequency of riding, how long? Every chance we get. Um, it was pretty up much in, every day. For it a was while. pretty much every day up until about a month ago, and now we've gotten back to work and stuff. So sadly, it's not every day, but we can still bike to work when we can figure out the hours. And all. <laughs> Do you have a place where you find yourself more frequently riding? We like to go the Dunedin way, um, like going out the causeway, out to Honeymoon. That's a really nice you yeah. know, ride. A lot of, um, it's just beautiful out there. Yeah, it is. Yeah. It's really, it's awesome. The most, so the dog beach to me is prettier than, prettier than everything yeah. else. Yeah. And it's where the dogs get to go. Yeah. It's usually yeah. where we go. <laughs> it's great. We we'll ride like all the way out and have a beverage. And then, you know, right back. What's the furthest you've been on? I think it was probably that 30 mile day. Yeah, when we went out to that sand, sand key or wherever the park was. Here's kind of one of my little thoughts on these bikes. You sort of run out of gear if you're using too much um, battery juice to yeah. help you along. So like what we do is we set it on like the highest gear, you know, the hardest one. 
and then I give it just, you know, like maybe a quarter juice. Um, so I think it's seven and two we go on. Um, that seems to put us at 14 miles an hour on average. And you can get a long ways. For me, because of the small color size, they're not really awesome. There's not a really good in-between gear for going without the juice. Because you're at like six miles an hour. <laughs> You know that we've been on them and we're watching, you know, and you look at other people and their bikes and whatnot, you can see maybe the advantages of having those, you know, bigger tire bikes, but I still, I don't know that I would personally go to one, just because I don't know that any farther than 30 miles is going to be my day anyway. Yeah. You know, if I'm going to do something like that, I'm going to drive to a waypoint, throw them in the back of the truck and then go experience something different. You ever had any kind of accident on them? Oh yeah, I fell coming down the hill one night. Which I'm still close. You're okay. <laughs> you said you've got, you know, you don't want anything that big. Are they heavy, one, nope. and are they hard to move? No, yeah, that's the nice thing pounds. is they're, they're like 50 pounds, they're super agile, you know, you can, you can really turn quick if you need to, you know, put them in smaller spaces. You is it a consistent thought to use one of these to go to work? I would love to if, I, if, if the evening situation wasn't sort of an issue. How fast are these? 21. Yeah, but... 21? Is it class 2 or is it just powered out? Do you know? Yes, if you twist the throttle, that's how fast it'll go. Gotcha. If you read the pedal, you might get a couple more miles on it. Mm, I never have. It's hard to keep up. <laughs> yeah, once you get to a certain ratio of gears, you can't keep up with pedaling. Yeah. 14, 15, that's a really good comfortable speed. Yeah. It's kind of interesting. Yeah. How would you describe the ride? It's a little rough sometimes. Yeah. Rigid frame? Yeah. 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 Shocks would be nice sometimes. <laughs> you said shocks, but to me that just means some other thing. You know what I mean? Like in, and when I was looking for mine, no breaking. <laughs> we, we're eliminating all of the possibilities. Oh, that's funny. Yeah, I'll just take it, break it, and put yeah. more on it. <laughs> yeah, he did. As a user, is it easy? Easy yeah. to get through everything? No I haven't been on a bike pretty much since I was 13. I had one encounter back in on a really bad weekend in Wisconsin, but we don't need to discuss that. Um, what happens in Wisconsin? Right? <laughs> Castle will get you every time. Uh, that was very, uh, very much not, you know, skilled at it. And I feel a little How long does it take to charge them? They're completely dead, about four or five hours. Have you ever run your battery all the way down? No. No? No, I don't want to get caught in that situation. I'll be calling you. <laughs> yeah, the keys to my truck are... <laughs> so you're saying battery life was important. <laughs> yeah. It is now. <laughs> What's the coolest feature on these bikes for you? For me, I like how easy they are to handle. That's, to me, um, you know, you can really zip around, they're, they're lightweight, you know, that's probably my favorite thing. Battery. The battery. <laughs> <laughs> what would you change about it? There's one thing I would change. The electronics on it. Yeah. Um, aren't super awesome. It'd be because like when like you're riding, so you go for five miles, and then you stop, and it powers down. It starts over. So you know you don't necessarily know. You know like the mileage tracker isn't awesome. But they are great exercise. Yeah, but they are. How long do you think you're gonna have them? Probably till they wear out. I don't know. I don't think... Say something about the battery. <laughs> 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 battery all wears out. <laughs> have you looked at anything else? You know, gotten this, ridden it, and then we're like, hmm, I think I might like to have that. Yeah. Uh, no? Seen anything that really looks better than what I have. Super satisfied? Super satisfied. If you had to rank whatever kind of scale, one to ten, how would you rate it? Oh, I'm very happy. I'd give it a ten. Ten? Sure. That's pretty strong yeah. endorsement. <laughs> see a lot of these out there. And you know, the, the salesman, um, you know, he, he said the same thing when we bought them. He said, this is my favorite bike. And you know, you kind of depend on them. Because so, that's what we did when we went in. We said, 
Hello. Here we are. What do we need? Bigger. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, I know that's what I did. All right. <laughs>